Welcome to Jacksonville, Alabama, a hidden gem a few miles from the border of Georgia and home to the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State, where these fans are fired up for this showdown about to play out on Burgess Snowfield. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Coastal Carolina shot to clear. Taking on a team from Conference USA, the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Gamecocks will get us underway with the opening kickoff. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Coastal Carolina shot to clears offense takes the field to start this game off. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football, finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just, you can trust him. Everything is available, but you're not playing with one arm behind your back. You've got all guns blazing. Got some of the work done on first now. Let's see what they have on second down. On the move, it's Basco. Spits it out to the back. Quick completion on the out route. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his man down the middle. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. The shot to clears will snap it on first and ten. They'll try it over the left side. Running with power. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. The offense set for a first down play. They want to just keep throwing it. Holds it in. Push down for the tackle. Well, they're running the curl route against zone coverage, so the quarterback knows he's going to have to put that one on his receiver. And you saw the velocity and the arm talent this guy has. That was a missile. That completion leaves us with second and medium. From the gun, running back on the move. He's brought down at the 41-yard line. It's a pickup of five and enough for a first down. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. Might as well give it to him again. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm now. They're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Trying play action. Starting to feel a little pressure. Nice move to keep moving. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. Nice job by the defense getting after the QB. He's trying to scramble around. He's trying to go get that first with his legs, but he's not able to do it because of the speed on defense. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. 
and very important not only to generate power, but to find his mark, a 49-yard try from the left. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. The misfire on the 49-yard field goal attempt sets him up with pretty good field position at the 32. Slant routes. They're good against man coverage, but they're good against zone coverage, too. If that receiver can find the soft spot between the linebacker and the DB, you'll take that throw all day. Set up for second and short after that completion. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Tackled at the 45 after a five-yard pickup. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. He'll do it himself. Got enough for the first. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea. Because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Scanning the field, it's Turner. Looking to scramble. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. So after the big run, they tried to hit him with a pass. Would you have gone back to the run, Nick? I think now, yeah. Of course, now looking back, I'm going to go, yeah, I should have run after you taking the sack. I like mixing it up. But if my offense is going to sit there and lean on people and we're good at running the football, then don't be afraid to do that more often. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Fires to the wideout. Oh, he drops it right down the middle of the field, and he couldn't make the play. Man, these slant routes you throw them quick. It's a timing route. You throw them three million of them to the wide receiver, and most of the time, he gets his hands up, and he catches it, keeps his body in the way, but right there, just... Lack of focus, lack of concentration, just drops the easy play. He, he's probably caught that ball 99% of the time it's been thrown to him. Another incompletion on third down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. The Gamecocks will line up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. And that one will find its way into the end zone for a touchback. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. Running back searching for a hole. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Make the stop of this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. 
And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. Sometimes you see the offenses sort of settle in, find areas to probe after that first quarter. Holds and fires complete to the right. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage, but you can tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for him. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Looking to pass. It's Vasco. He makes the connection. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit of the time to get to that first down marker. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him and get him to the ground for a minimum game. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. Back to the air one more time. It's complete. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. And the shot to clear has come to the line in the hurry up. Comes out throwing on first down. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Great coverage. Great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. Line getting set on second down. Motion from the offense. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Just so smooth along the sideline to drag that toe and get the completion. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. That's a great play call there, guys. I love it. And listen, they didn't get the first down, but this QB sneak on the very next play is going to get it, and this drive is going to keep going. And the field goal unit will stay put as the head coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Off the RPO, throw to the right, looking for the first. The shot to clear is get enough for the first down. It may seem like a really aggressive call, but David, you settle for three there. It's like handing a win to the defense. Yeah, and I like aggressive. Aggressive is good for offenses, and you know we've seen it time and time again. You get beat when you kick field goals. That's something that you look back. It's a big stat, so I like the aggressiveness to go for it, especially when you get it. Like, easy decision, right? First down. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. And that is a huge play for the defense. Offense has it in your red zone. You're trying to knock them out of field goal range. The only way you do that is by creating negative plays, and they get the sack. That last play, the kind of thing that can mess up a really good drive. It's second and 17. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking to throw, it's Vasco. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. And you've seen this formula work at all levels of football. You pressure the quarterback, his numbers start to drop. He's not as efficient. Nice job by the defense. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Now he's going to break the pocket. Picks up what he can, and then slides. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be 
good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time, you get the ball out, but when things break down, they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. Carolina, three. Jacksonville State, zero. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. Leaves it with the running back. Works his way ahead for three out to the 14. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. Dropping back, it's Turner. Throws to the wideout. And it's incomplete on third down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Gamecocks will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Graves. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. Gets rid of it. Finds a soft spot in the middle. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. On first and 10 from the 38. He's going to pass. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes you're just too open. Yeah, and he had an opportunity to make such a big play. Listen, he wasn't wide open with nobody around him, but you got to make that play. you got a little bit of space. you got to haul that in, make your quarterback look good, and make a big play for this offense. Looking to throw on second down. Grabbed in the middle. It's O'Neal. Oh, it's out! How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man, that's a big mistake, and listen, I'm still going to force-feed my playmakers. If I'm that quarterback, I'm that OC, I'm, I'm walking over to that guy and like, listen, it's okay. It's a little bit of a mistake. We're still going to find ways to get you the rock. You're too important to this team not to give you the football. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on over. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards, get some first downs, get some positive momentum. 
Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle. And this offense generates a massive play. Unloads to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Quick strike complete. How about that elusiveness? He's got space. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, they've done nothing on offense so far, but if they can put some points on the board before halftime, it could really change things. No doubt. Go into the locker room with some good juices, some good vibes, and, and momentum can switch a game in a heartbeat. But this offense hasn't had much to cheer about yet. That play gives them one play. Now let's go build on it and make something happen before the half. The Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Back to pass, it's Turner. Gets open down the middle. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. They'll try to kick it in overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. The aerial assault continues. Unleashes one deep. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. And that's just a huge missed opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that the rest of this game. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. He's looking to pass. Got it set up on the outside. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. And they weren't able to get him in the middle of the field, so now a 49-yarder from the right hash. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And the field goal draws us even as we get close to halftime. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you got to stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. Now they'll run the draw. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. They really got things moving on this drive. Second play of the drive comes from the 37. Looking to throw, it's Basco. Makes the grab on the left. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. And the shot to clear is moving quickly to the line. Got to get everybody to the line and spike it to stop the clock. Second down. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. 
on second down, wants to throw it. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. And it's third down, but they're taking no chances. They'll send the field goal unit out before halftime. This is not a straight-on kick, a 42-yarder from the right hash. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Under a minute to play here in the first half, and the offense will take a knee, and that is how we'll wrap up the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Jacksonville for an entertaining first half than you? And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's head back to the guys at JSU Stadium. The shot that clears will kick it away first and we'll start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Caller, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, he was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Gets it out fast. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. When you run your slant route and it's against man-to-man, -man, one thing you know you're going to get is hit. When that wide receiver catches the football, slants don't open up wide open. Linebackers are going to be there. Safeties are going to be there. So you've got to be able to take that hit and hold on to that football. They'll keep it on the ground. And the Gamecocks get it up to move the chain. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and 10. They're getting this guy lathered up. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. To the ground with the back. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. 
And that was a nice second down run. It's setting up third and inches. And now it's physical time, right? Like, they know you might run the football. You know you probably want to run the football. How can you be more physical? Sometimes bring some extra bodies, some extra tight ends in. Go to that play that you know is your short yardage play. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Well, he picked up that first running the football. That's good news for an offensive line that really has been getting pushed around and bullied in this game so far. We'll see what happens moving forward. The Gamecocks will have it first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Caught behind the line. It's Kuber. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage. And as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. Down to the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. They'll throw it from the red zone. Grabbed over the middle. It's Kuber. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. It's as if the end zone has a no trespassing sign on it, but here, a chance to score the first touchdown of the game. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Back to throw, it's Turner. Touchdown, Gamecock! And that one will put him up here in the second half. Timing and better execution. That is just what a quarterback and wide receiver need. And it's timing, it's route running, right? You gotta be precise. You gotta know exactly what yard you're running to. The quarterback receiver on the same page. That's why you get the touchdown. point gives them a 10-6 lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. Using his legs, it's Bennett. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. 
Well, after struggling so much in the first half, we thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. And the shot to clears will send out the punt unit. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on O. They'll throw it on first down. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hand. You know, it's difficult for QBs sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Second down coming up. On the run, it's Turner. On the move and looking deep. He almost had the pick, and that could have given them a boost. Instead, it'll be third down. And that, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense, or, listen, you could spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. Safe completion on the screen. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. All right, they get the completion. Don't get the first down. So we've got a massive decision now, fourth and inches. Personally, I like QB sneak. I think that picks it up right here. No matter where you are in the field, you can keep this drive going. And the Gamecocks will punt it away on fourth down. And they can't get on top of it to down it, so that ball will come out to the 20. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. They've come out with answers on this possession and now another first down. Guys, Jacksonville State has the lead here as we've reached the end of the quarter. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Quickly complete. No, oh, we got loose. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. What a weapon these wide receiver screens can be. Not only do you get a convoy blocking, you get dynamic running. When you do this and you show me the threat of throwing this wide receiver screen, it makes me play defense differently. It makes me have more guys out wide, which opens the box inside. So I think it's really smart for coordinators and offenses to continually throw these screens to playmakers. The shot that clears, racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking for a man, it's Vasco. He's going up top. It's complete. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. So the opportunity with a touchdown here to take a fourth quarter lead. Barges ahead. Touchdown, shot to clear. 
They move on top here on the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. If he makes this one, the lead will be three, and at least a field goal won't beat you. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punt. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to pass. It's Turner. He looks that one in nicely. He is not afraid to use that stiff arm as a weapon as he bangs his way to the 28. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. They'll try to run for it. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. How about the job by this defense today? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense. Stopping the run game. Stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. Hands it off. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. Can't make the connection. The pressure there caused the missed timing. Well, I don't know if the big fella got freaked out because he was so wide open on that play, but that is a catch he has got to make for his quarterback. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws for the tight end. Makes a connection. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Nice job executing the four-minute offense. You know, they practice this throughout the week, having a lead late in the game, running plays, to just get enough to get first downs to stay on the field, and they are executing this four-minute offense to perfection. They move the tight end all over. The handoff keep working on that clock. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. They'll probably bleed every second possible off this clock before they snap it. Wide out in motion. Takes the handoff. It's Bennett. He's knocked down at the 34, but they're sort of hitting them in the mouth with a six-yard pickup there. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. 
pivotal moment, perhaps even a decisive play coming on third and three. Wants to throw. It's Vasco using the quick game. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. And the shot to clears have their offense in high gear. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Just trucks through it. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And a chance, perhaps, to salt this game away if this offense can pay this off with a late touchdown. But Jet Sweep pass. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, two things you're thinking about here offensively is, one, you want to take as much time off the clock. But two, you really want to score another touchdown to make this a two-possession game. You could almost ice it if you can find a way to get in the end zone here. Just take your time. Don't snap it too quickly. They're going to throw it on third and goal. They'll run the screen. And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. This is one of those unique situations in a game as a head coach. You're trying to feel the momentum, and what's your confidence in your quarterback? Because you've got fourth, you're in field goal range, but you've got the weapons to get one more completion and ice this thing. So do you kick the field goal, or do you go for it? And it's no good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. And look, I know there's not a lot of time left, David, but that's a big miss. Obviously, if he hits it, he forces the other team to need to score a touchdown to win. Now he's left the door just a bit open here. We've seen crazy things happen in college football. Yeah, and, and crazy things need to happen because you still got to make a few plays to get down the field with very little time on the clock. But now there is hope. You've got a chance. And the other kicker on the other sideline better be getting warmed up. Feeling some heat. And the laundry drops as the pass falls incomplete. Let's see who the penalty's on. You can't do that. An illegal forward pass will cost the offense five yards. Looking downfield, it's Turner. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Well, you look at the clock, they've got time for one more play, but they're out of Hail Mary range here, needing a touchdown to win this game. This is going to be a, a last-second, last-chance play that they practice, by the way, throughout the week. It's going to involve probably a lot of laterals. We've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Here's a throw downfield late. And the pass is incomplete, and the ball game is over, and this will be a game of what might have been. 